Well, I'm outside the Grosseto Fiere, where the uh, Maremma wine share is being held, and I'm with Mike McFadson from Alpha Dogs in Wisconsin. Mike, um, I know we haven't tasted any wines yet, but um, I'm sure you're anxious uh, to start. But I'd like to know um, what, uh, what in particular are you going to be looking for uh, here in Tuscany on the, on the coastal area? Well, first I want to see what the expression of Sangiovese is here. I mean, I think people understand what Sangiovese is from Chianti, from Multicino, that area. And um, they probably understand some of the super Tuscan products that are out there. But Marema is still a little bit unknown, and I think um, folks in America need to know a little bit more about this area. So I want to know about Sangiovese and talk to my customers about that. And I'm also curious if there are any white wines here that are any good. Yes, I mean, uh, the local variety here is actually Vermentino, which is uh, quite a zesty, uh, fresh, um, I would say, um, yes, very refreshing white wine with, um, you know, some nice citrus notes. And um, obviously, being on the coast, people enjoy that with the fish here. Sure. But of course, um, the Marema is also very, very known for its um, international blends of right. um, Cabernet, Merlot, uh, sometimes even some Syrah. How, how, how does that fit into your market? Well, I think, the, I mean, the first couple times when I tasted this years ago, I mean, I was completely surprised how good the Cabernet Sauvignon was mm. in the Merlot. I mean, it stands up, some of the producers stand up to some of the French producers. And I'm not saying that in a disparaging way to the Italian producers. Yeah. I mean, I was surprised enough okay, to make that, I was surprised enough to make that comparison. The way I would say it more accurately today is, is that this part of Italy, I think, has great potential to produce superb Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. The only caution that, that I would give um, the producers here and to myself mm -hmm. is that I don't want to have this so international in, um, in its styling with use of French Marique and uh, big extraction covering up some of the pretty little tones that come through because of the soils and climatic conditions. So I think some of the producers are edging a little bit too, too much towards the international where is it from kind of uh, uh, style. Okay, well let's hope that the uh, Cabernet Merlot are um, in, the Tuscan, in the Tuscan style. Anyway, happy hunting and thank you very much. Great, thanks Michelle.